I'm Frédéric Debien from the Oracle mobile platform team. In this episode, I will show you how you can write code to authenticate against MCS using the Xamarin Client SDK and retrieve the properties of the user's profile. This will work whether your app targets any of the mobile OS's supported by the Xamarin MCS SDK. Now, let's get this demo started. For this demo, I will use a brand new app created in Xamarin Studio using the Xamarin Forms template. I already configured it to use the MCS client SDK. I'm not showing this here since this has been covered in another episode. I added a very simple login page to the application and ensured the application class uses it. The login button in the page invokes the login click method in the code behind page. To implement authentication, the first step is to obtain a valid mobile backend instance. Then, I just call the authenticate async method on the authorization property of the backend. Just ensure to pass the username and password as parameters. In this case, I retrieve them from the entry components in my XAML login page. The application displays a dialog box stating if authentication has been successful or not, selecting the message by checking the return value of the method call. By the way, if you plan to call MCS APIs on which anonymous access has been turned on, you will need to call the authenticate anonymous async method even if you do not ask end users to supply login credentials. Anonymous access to MCS resources is only possible if appropriate headers have been set, and this is what this method does. I now have implemented authentication in a single method call. Retrieving the profile properties for the current mobile user is equally easy. The only thing you must do is to call the getCurrentUserAsync method on the authentication object obtained from the target backend after a successful authentication attempt. The user object contains distinct properties for the names and the values of user properties. In my case, I chose to display the values in an alert window when authentication succeeded. I simply convert the values to a comma delimited string. In a production app, I would recommend to keep a reference to the user instance in the application class instead of fetching them every time, since this could result in many unnecessary MCS API calls. The Xamarin MCS SDK makes it very easy to authenticate your mobile users and obtain the properties of their user profiles. You only need a single line of code for each operation. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.